Today I'm going to show you a little bit about brainstorming and writing functionality of Kurzweil 3000. First we'll open Kurzweil 3000. You can type in your username. This can be any name you want, not necessarily your UP username. When you look at the top toolbar, you'll see the usual Kurzweil 3000 tools. But on the left side of the screen, you can see red, yellow, green, and blue little tabs. The blue one is the writing tab, and this is where the brainstorming tools are. So if yours is closed when you open it, when you open Kurzweil, you can click on this blue tab and that will open up the writing toolbar for you. If you hover over the yellow icon with a little pencil here, you'll see that it says Start Writing. Click on that and a small window opens with a few choices. You can also get to the same tools by clicking on the upper toolbar where it says Write. I'm going to choose New Brainstorm and Blank so that you can see how to start a new brainstorming session from scratch. I'm going to click OK. The first thing that happens is an oval appears with the words Main Idea. First, I'm going to change the font being used so that it's a bit more readable. I'm going to click on the oval and let's just make it a tiny bit bigger and bold. And we can stretch it out like that. Now for this brainstorming example I'm going to be thinking about writing a paper about the Bill of Rights. So I'm going to put that at the top. Let's get rid of this. Next, as I brainstorm ideas for the paper, I can quickly add them to the diagram by using the Brainstorm palette on the right side. Here's how it works. Just click the title, in this case, Bill of Rights, and then click the quick takes in the brainstorm palette which is the very first icon in the upper left. This is going to start a flow diagram of my ideas. So let's start with some ideas. What is the Bill of Rights? Who? Who wanted it? and why. These can easily be arranged like that. If you want to use different colors for different levels of your, your ideas, that's easy too. Just click on the location you want to change the color and choose the color you want from the palette click over here on fill color choose the color you want click OK or you can highlight more than one at once by holding down the control key click on the palette choose the color you want click OK you can also change in the same way the shape so let's say you want the oval at the top and you want squares here so you just choose squares and they change for you. So let's add a few more ideas. Click on what? Click on my quick links and let's say uh, let's put in what are they constitutional amendments. who wanted them. Click on the quick takes
and why. Okay. Again, let's change the color of these. Hold down the control key, highlight, highlight all four, go to the color palette, and let's make them let's make them green. Okay. You can move them. Stretch it out so you can see everything. Like that. One of the great things about this method of brainstorming is that it creates an outline at the same time as you create the diagram. Take a look at the toolbar again and just click on the outline view icon and there's the outline. Click on the brainstorm view and there's the diagram. Let's say I want to link Guarantee Freedoms with uh, James Madison. All I need to do is click the link button and then click the two things and now I have a link between James Madison and the Guarantee of Freedoms. I can also add a note if I want to be sure to add something to the paper and not forget to put it in later by using the note feature. So click on the object where you want to add the note. Let's put it on who. Grab the note. Put in, uh, let's, we want to list the governors, the states. So now Related to who, in the same color, I have listing the governor of the states. Note will appear, appear in the outline view. Right here, list governors. There's also a spell check. You can see I have uh, red underlines here. Click on that. Amendments tells me, gives me an option to spell amendments properly. I click change. Change to, click change, governors, change to that spelling, click change, and that's prepared. Back to the diagram. You can move your notes over to the side. Let's say we want to make a change to our diagram and delete something. So let's highlight Ben Franklin. Before we do that, let's take a look in the outline view. Here's Ben Franklin. Back to the diagram. Let's highlight Ben Franklin, delete him, go back to the outline view, and he's gone. So they are related. Update one and the other one automatically updates. There's uh, one more feature is the word prediction feature, which you can turn on with this crystal ball icon here. Let's say we want to add something to the outline. Um, we want to be sure to mention that the constitutional amendments need to be ratified. So we're going to write ratify here and take a look at the word prediction. It brings up, as soon as I type RAT, it brings up the word ratify in the fourth place here. I just click on that and it adds it. This is really good for, for spelling. It helps you spell along the way. So when you're ready to write your paper, you can switch to split screen mode by clicking on the split screen icon on the toolbar. Let's close the word prediction for now open the split screen icon and what happens is your outline that you've just created from the brainstorm flowchart stays on the left side of the screen and on the right 
you can start writing your paper.